Saxon Heart is a website that will be launching by the end of this year, 2013. And it, within the site, we are catering to the health and beauty industry and having them have a vehicle and a site and a medium to showcase their talents and makeovers to parties that are most deserving. We will be introducing uh, parties that give so much back to society and it's our way to highlight those parties that live to give, give to live, our mission and motto here at Saxon Heart. Quite stoked that Lily is our first candidate that we've been working with. I can't wait for her to be here end of October to get her full makeover and looking forward for Saxon Heart to do many more. Uh, but Lily, we absolutely cannot wait for you to be here. So see you soon. The end of Lily's seventh grade school year, she was sleepy all of the time. She would sleep 12, 15 hours a day, and she just didn't feel good. She felt terrible. Her skin hurt. I would go to hug her because we're very touchy, lovey people, and she oh, mommy, it hurts so bad. And then I noticed there was all this hair in the bathroom, everywhere, on the walls, on the sink. We'd have to clean out the drain every couple of days. About a month later, we went to the pediatrician and I fought for a referral. Hi, my name is Lily Finnefrock and I am 16 years old. I am from Fayetteville, North Carolina and I have an autoimmune disease. An autoimmune disease is where you are more prone to sickness and you have skin sensitivity, your hair can fall out, you can get different rashes, um, you can have sun sensitivity. It's just different things for different each disease and they haven't exactly pinpointed what I have. That's when we found Dr. Burkhart. We were sent to him a couple weeks later. I thought we were just gonna see this dermatologist and the dermatologist is gonna look at her and say, oh, you look fine, come back in a couple of months. And we walked into his office, looked at her head and said, I think we need to do a biopsy. I'll check all your labs today, just, just so that we, we know what, what medications are available for you. And then we'll go from there, all right? I am 16, I do wanna do more with my friends but I can't. Recently, I've just been like, you know what? It's okay, I'm, God gave me this, I'm gonna deal with it however I can. And so I just kind of combat it with helping people and helping animals and doing whatever I can throughout my community. It's, it's one of those just giving back to those people that just give so much to society, you know, and give so much, and especially at Lily at such a young age. Lily's desire to give back and to serve others is very inspiring for me. I don't know too many kids her age that are so willing to give up themselves. It affects my life a lot, but I have a great support system and they just are so loving and caring with it. Well, the major thing that I do, I foster animals. I work with various um, shelters with Operation Dog Tag. I also do some Red Cross work I help out at the soup kitchen for Salvation Army. I help with um, babysitting children with single parents. I know that it's very difficult for them, especially in this society and everything, so I just kind of help out with everybody. It just helps me a lot to focus on something else that's not, um, oh my gosh, my hair's falling out, or wow, I have a bald spot, let me you know, go all in my room. No, I just go out and help however I can and focus on something else and keep busy. When you find a person having that much heart and copes with an issue and being such a positive influence on not just you but in so many other ways and it's the pay it forward kind of mindset um, and giving it back to so many people, it's such a great feeling to see that happen. I'm so excited to go to New York. Um, you know, I can't wait to just, you know, get made over, I guess you can say.